There's too goddamn much wrestling. I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not. I had to watch SmackDown and Collision, and I'm almost done with the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. And Tom wants to watch Rampage, and I uh, have watched not one single second of the G1. It's it's actually impossible if I want to have a life of any sort. So Ricky Starks come out, comes out for a promo. God, this was the weirdest segment I have seen in I don't even know how long. Ricky Starks, last week, cheated to win the Owen Hart Cup. So this man comes out, and he is cheered. He talked about how much money he had. His expensive shoes, his expensive bag. Mm -hmm. He's rich, you see. So to review, if you cut a promo saying that you have expensive things like, oh, I don't know, a Tesla or a watch, and you only eat the finest steaks in the finest steakhouses, people might not like you. I have no idea what you're talking about. So then CM Punk came out. He was booed completely out of the building. Darby Allen, who is a babyface, said that CM Punk was his friend which got Darby booed. Ricky Starks, who was cheered, ended up being teamed up with Christian, who was a heel, who was booed. And motherfucker, when this segment was over, I was like, I don't know who is what. House of Black treated uh, their goodbyes to Billy Gunn like they were saying goodbye to their grandfather at Christmas time. Now, Now I'm picturing the House of Black exactly as they always dress, but with Santa hats on. It seemed to me watching this promo that this guy don't want to do no hijinks, he doesn't want to do no ha-ha. He wants to go out there and have a serious wrestling match for these serious tag team titles. Right now, this act is hot. So you need to go with it, and you need to cooperate with it and work around it. Right? Dax should go on Monday to a local dance studio and just That's take true. a crash course, and uh, Max needs to hit that fucking music, and Dax needs to outdance him. Hmm. You want to get over, brother? That's going to do it. Imagine if that guy came out and they could get over dirty Daxing and he could have a fucking <laughs> shirt. God damn it. All right, oh. Granny, let's get moving here. <laughs> or not. Uh, not all at once. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to do my... Yeah. I can't find it. Just a minute. Oh, shoot. What's going over there, Granny? <laughs> uh, I'm getting it. Okay. Did we catch you off guard with our Tuesday night show? Why'd you read another question while we're waiting? Well, I closed the Facebook. Let's see if I can uh, dig it back up here. I'm ready. Sean, okay, I can't never believe the faith you have in Vinny to this day. <laughs> All right, well, never it's, mind. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Go ahead, Granny. <laughs> it's been how many uh, years? <laughs> what is happening on this show? <laughs> Granny, I you're... I want to know. It's Are your you turn, be... Granny. We're waiting for you. Then don't interrupt. Who interrupted? There was eight seconds of dead air. (laughs) Dominic versus Mysterio. Dominic gets a fast start. Granny, I I, I don't want to interrupt. I I hate to do this, but uh, you've told us this match is Dominic versus Mysterio. Right. Okay, well, Dominic is Mysterio. Oh, does some heavy beating with mommy outside. This goes on for a while. Dominic gets kicked out of the ring. Man, AJ Styles is just dripping in redneck. I'm here with Jerry Leon. I wasn't using my head. I was in the wolf pack. I oh. ended Goldberg's undefeated streak. I, I helped. <laughs> I helped. Yeah. <laughs> Went on and on. I have and he... judged swimsuit competitions. Yeah. Pregnant swimsuit competitions. He, he clarified that, yes, yes. Did we mention this show was a billion times better than last week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Just keep this finish, mind. and you think Russo wasn't there? There was a no contest in a ladder match when a third guy left with the belt. They had a moves match. There were 7,000 moves in this match. 93 comebacks, I counted. It was a lot of stuff. I couldn't tell you five things off the top of my head that actually happened because there was so much stuff going on, but goddamn, the crowd loved it. A number of people here on the chat are trying to piece together why Moxley attacked Orange Cassidy. Moxley is mad that Orange punched Claudio. I think he punched Wheeler. (laughs) It doesn't matter. Where in the fuck were the elite? Don't know. (laughs) They won blood and guts last Mm -hmm. week, and they were nowhere to be seen on this show. All of them. That's weird. But the losers were all over the show. The losers were all over the show. It was like they won. Callis then reveals he has commissioned a work of art. I presume an AI painting. Don it's Callis, not AI. Somebody actually painted this. There's a woman who has been doing these paintings. 
He turns to the announce desk. He calls out Taz. I'm better than you and your dirtbag friends ever were. Well, one of his dirtbag friends comes out. It's Jerry Lynn, or as 2002 AJ Styles would call him, Jerry Leon. Pack versus Gravity. I, for one, will never get tired of the jokes about Pack being the man Gravity forgot and trying to remind him. Forget me not, he shouts as he's slapping the guy in the face. The first portion of this match was quite bad. They're just out there doing some stuff. No one cares at all. Britt just falls in her face. Ty just falls in her ass. They royally fuck this whole thing up. And then, some cameraman or director made the regrettable decision to zoom in on a sign reading, Book the Women's Division Better. Yeah. That's not a choice I would have made. You know, it's funny. Someone mentioned, they go, you know, these people want women's wrestling so badly, but man, do they bury it when they get it. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're right. Wrestling- maybe, maybe everyone should stop listening to the fucking internet. Would probably be the, the best course of action. And, uh, you know, you got women. Put them on the show. Mm-hmm. You know, you write stories for all the men. Write yeah. some for the women. Exactly. Doesn't have to be all the women. No. But you can have a, a, a storyline. Pick the three or four you want to highlight. Going on to the next pay-per-view Give and them- do it. So the best friends are brawling with a Blackpool Combat Club. And I'm thinking, okay, so if that's the next feud, then why didn't Trent pin Claudio here in this match to build to that feud? What is the point of the Lucha Brothers winning? And suddenly the Lucha Brothers are brawling with everyone. And then they announce Mox versus Trent versus Penta. Frantically, they announce this for next week, and the show goes off the air. I got no idea what's going on. (laughs) I know! It's July 27th. All Out is August 27th. We're exactly one month away. Yes. We know nothing. (laughs) We know nothing for that show. First thing he says is, a lot of you people may not know who I am. Excuse me, I, I, I correct myself. A lot of you people may not know who I am. Even that, I can't, I can't do it. Not even that, you can't do it. I can't do it as wooden as he did. But more importantly, the only reason you're here is because everyone knows who you are. <laughs> the uh, new Von Erichs movie's coming out. And uh, I look at the picture and I was like, what in the hell I can't is, identify uh, any Von Erich. Is uh, uh, Charlie Dempsey doing in this movie? <laughs> Because one of those blokes looks exactly, exactly like Charlie Dempsey. I mean, strange things have happened. Load it up. Look at that guy putting that other guy in the uh, sleeper. That's fucking Charlie Dempsey. Uh, That's I... fucking Charlie Dempsey. There's no way you're going to convince me it's not. It looks way more like Charlie Dempsey than Yvonne Eric. His hair. Like, it's incredible. It's unkempt. It's unkempt, all right. This may have been his actual natural hair. It's just wild. They didn't call it this, but for all intents and purposes... It's Thea Hale 24-7. Thea Hale, all access. And she's out for a run, and it's like Rocky. The more she runs, the more people join in, join in behind her support her. And they get to wherever the hell the run finishes, and they all want to pep talk, and Thea screams, I don't think I can win. I know I can win. Let's go! She's got to win. This Come on. Awesome. This is just awesome. Pull the fucking trigger. Let's do this. There was way more good stuff on NXT than Yeah, it's a, a fun show. I yeah. love it. Rhea Ripley is awesome, and in the end, this ruled. It was a good match, and Rhea came off like a superstar, which she always does. That was a much better episode of NXT than we've seen in a while. That's it, everybody. We'll talk to you again after a while. (coughs) Perfect.